Hello, I'm Brian Parks from Believe Mill Technical Support. Today, I'm here with Chris Sheehan from Technical Support, and we're going to show you how to wire a modulating actuator for on-off. Chris? Thank you, Brian. A frequent question that we get in tech support is how to wire a modulating actuator for on-off. These modulating actuators could be designated as dash SR or dash MFT, which would be multifunction technology. Today I'll show you how to wire both a non-spring return and a spring return actuator using the Blimo PS100 power supply signal generator. Here I have an LMB 24-SR, which is a 24 volt non-spring return actuator, uh, which is modulating. The way to wire, a sta the standard way to wire this is to connect the black wire to transformer common, the red wire to 24 volts hot from the transformer, the white wire to a 2 to 10 output, and the orange feedback wire will be connected to feedback. And this will function with a 2 to 10 signal, so as you apply 2 volts to 10 volts, it will open or close the damper. To wire for on-off, we're going to disconnect our control output and our feedback wire, and our control output white wire will now be connected to 24 volts hot. Now with 24 volts on the uh, control input, the ASHRAE will now, when you apply 24 volts, will power all the way open. And when 24 volts is removed or a zero volt signal is applied, it will drive closed. As far as the feedback wire is concerned, it's not required, so we can just tie that off, unless you're going to be monitoring the position of the damper. Now we're done wiring the uh, fail in place actuator and we'll, we will wire the fail safe actuator or spring return actuator. The difference between fail in place and spring return is fail in place will fail right where it is or non-spring. If power were to fail, it's just gonna stay right where it is. Spring return is going to fail to either the open or closed position depending on where you need the damper to fail. Uh, open or closed. Today I'm going to use as an example the AFB24-SR. The standard wiring for this actuator will be the same as what I showed you with the LMB24-SR where the black wire is going to be connected to transformer common, the red wire will be connected to transformer hot or 24 volts, the white wire will be connected to our control output which provides 2 to 10, and the orange wire will be connected to our feedback. When wired in this way, the actuator will respond to a 2 to 10 control signal. Now, to wire the actuator for on-off, we're going to leave the black and red wires uh, connected to transformer common and hot. We're going to disconnect the control output from uh, 2 to 10 and connect it to 24 volts hot. Depending on your application, you may want to connect the feedback wire or leave it disconnected. The feedback wire is not required for the actuator to actual function. And we're going to tie that off. So, two ways that we can, we can have the AFB24-SR function uh, for on-off. Uh, we can apply 24 volts to the white input and that will drive it open when 24 volts is applied or drive it closed when 24 volts is removed so the motor is powering it open or closed. A second way to wire this which is sometimes more popular is to have the 24 volts applied and that will drive the actuator open and then we'll use the spring return as a means to have the actuator fail whether that be open or closed. Hey Chris, thanks for that great video today. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please call Belimo Technical Support at 1-800-543-9038 or you can go to www.belimo.us and find more information about these products there. Please be sure to like this video and continue watching the Belimo YouTube channel.